All right. Uh, give me one second. There we go. <laughs> Hello. And welcome to Eliza. Part four of uh, this series. And I still don't know how long this game is. But I've been enjoying it so far, so I don't mind the uncertainty. If anything, that might be thematically appropriate. Uh, actually, can you all hear the game? I think you can. Great. <coughs> Apologies for the uh, long wait time. Uh, took a while to get some other things done before my stream, but now we're here. And by other things done, I mean just... I, I was eating a burger and it was taking a long time. Okay. <laughs> I'm usually a fast eater, but uh, not always. Anyway. I was really surprised at the combo uh, between the milkshake and the fries. You're supposed to like combo string fast food items together, apparently. And I did not know this, that this was like a normal thing. And I discovered it, and it was beautiful. And it tasted amazing. But yeah, try it. I, I didn't actually dip my uh, fried uh, french fries, though, into the uh, milkshake, but I'll try it some other time. In the meantime, this isn't about... Uh, this isn't about burgers or fast food, I don't think, yet, at least. Uh, this is about... AI and its uh, potential ramifications upon uh, mental health resources so let's dig into it I think we can just click continue hopefully it remembers where we last were <coughs> oh <laughs> oh shoot okay um, it's been a while <laughs> it's been a little bit since I played the game I, I do remember all these characters though so there's no worries there um, I don't know if uh, I made up my mind since then, to be honest, <clears throat> on who to talk to. One person, huh? Uh, hold on. Do we have a save here? Do we have like a... Can I get a save state in this particular uh, choice? unusual for a VN to not allow me to save. I'm assuming that there is some way to do so, but I don't think it's any of these, which is a bit silly. That's okay. Yeah, no. Okay, in that case, we'll have to, st well, not like I was planning on going back, to be honest, if this uh, is a significant like route shift or anything. Um, Hopefully you can find the other routes on YouTube. Hmm. That, or I'll, uh, upon trying to watch the other uh, options, will come back and uh, add to the stream. So with that said, I think my favorite character out of all, all these four is probably Nora, <clears throat> just because She's just cool. <laughs> She's just so cool and free and 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 I think that's beautiful. And I also don't really want to be alone with like Rainer or Soren. Um not just because, well, I, I don't trust the other either of those two, but also because like how much um how much of Rainer's uh "Quote unquote philosophical uh, ranting can I handle?" And also Soren, well, maybe he has something cool to show us about the the new tech. That's the only reason why I would be a little bit unsure of who I want to choose, just because there's some extra lore, uh, or rather, there's some extra information that we can glean from interacting with some um, with Soren specifically. And Raynard as well, maybe. Hmm. Oh shoot, I'm kind of thinking it over again. 
Uh, hmm. Very apprehensive about Rainer, but I really want to know what... Ah, this would be a lot easier if we could talk to... I think his name is Simon. <laughs> Simon, where... Why can't I talk to you? Or Elrond. Okay, sorry. He was he gave me Simon vibes. Simone vibes? Nah. Um mm, Yeah. Out of all of these, I still would want to talk to Nora. So let's do that. I'll hang out with Nora. I visited Nora at her place again. Naturally, the conversation drifted to synthesizers, even though I st still don't know anything about them. Mm. You know what I wish? I wish Elises made a rack mount version of the Andromeda. What's this you're talking about? Hmm, <laughs> sorry. The Andromeda was like a, a synth that was like, ah, uh, just this real beast, you know? 16 voices with analog oscillators, analog filters. I'll pretend that I know what that means. How can I describe it? It has this great fat American sound. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. But the keyboard Why can is I heavy imagine it? <laughs> and hard to carry around. So I wish they put it in a box. Don't look at me like that. Yes, this is what I do all day. I stay inside my flat, buried in my synths and techno toys. Hey, I don't honest, mind. It's been a strange feeling lately. Like, wow, this is really what I do for my living. I don't get invited to attend events and give talks much anymore. The industry I respect moved it. on. They mostly ignore me now. The people I used to I know, mean, I'm sitting here in my room that. playing not uh, a game. Anymore. It's like the Live establishment on stream, is a big so. bus pulling away. Who am I to say anything? And I'm standing by the side of the street yeah. watching it drive away. But you know, I'm happy with this. I don't have to worry if someone is friends with me just because I work at Skanda. I don't feel this weird oppressive hierarchy where people try to figure out where they are relative to you on a ladder when they first meet you. <sighs> it's nice to be free of that, you know. I don't hold power anymore. I'll never go back. Not to Skanta or any other big tech place. Not for any amount of money. I'm glad you found a situation you like. I need to do the same for myself. You could join me. I want to make something big. A great big work of art, you know? I don't quite know what it's going to be yet, but I've got the ideas running around. Big. Evelyn, what if we work together on it? I feel like we could accomplish a lot working together, no? Well, you don't need silly guys like Soren or Rainer. We should be building amazing things for ourselves, not for anyone else. Hmm. I mean, to be fair, I really don't know what she's talking about in terms no of what are we going to make. <laughs> we'll get to that part. All right. Don't worry about it for now. Maybe we can make Fair an enough. installation. I have a friend looking for something to do with this warehouse space in Sodo that would be perfect for some kind of location-based experience. Or maybe I could make music, experience. and you could come up with a visual engine that we could perform together. Huh? We'd have to come up with a band name. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. Ah, ha, 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 I just had an incredible idea. Hold on. Okay, okay, listen to this. What if we created an what? open source version of the Eliza Core? Holy Get shit. The software into the hands of the people okay. where it belongs, not owned and controlled by a big company. <laughs> oh, that might we, make we, that was a big angry. jump. Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> Nora. The humanitarian Software Foundation would help us. Couldn't you see them getting on board with this idea? They would? Whoa, okay. Um cool. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I guess if Evelyn, being around you is the corporations nice. have uh, Eliza, then so calm. Like, everything it's better to have to okay. uh, a version of that in the hands of the people so as opposed to just decide, I hope we something that we can't trust, I guess. I don't even think... <coughs> Yeah. Yeah, I'd really like to. I'd love to do that. I don't know why we never did this before. Too busy, I guess. Or maybe Except we're very ready. busy right now ready? as well. People change. Situations change. Well, I'm ready now. I'm sorry it took so long. Sometimes I forget there are people who care. Evelyn, you could stay over one night. I mean, if, if you wanted. <laughs> it doesn't have to be tonight, of course. Just 
Just if you feel like it. Maybe I could. Maybe I will. Sometime. But not tonight. Okay. Oh, uh, the icy breeze coming over the sound. I wonder how many people I'm seeing right now. All of them with their own feelings and desires, their own fears and hopes and dreams and disappointments. The weight and significance and complexity of human lives. From a vantage point like this, it seems so small and distant. Like, I'm not a part of it, even though I know I am. I'm a part of humanity, even though I don't always like it. Even though it sometimes pushes me away. I don't know why it took so long, but at least I have an answer now. It might not be the only answer, but it's good enough for the moment, and that's more than I had before. Yes, I'm sure of it now. I'm going to... Okay! Oh, this is this is a big um, choice. I have a feeling we're at the end of the game. Um, so luckily we did talk to Nora because I never would have anticipated that Nora wants to make an open source Eliza. That's wild. And I really want to see that happen. So we're going to choose that. <coughs> I mean... Well, just to be fair to the others, though, let's take a look at what could also happen. Yeah, we'd go back to Raynor, we join Soren. I mean, these these two we've already kind of discussed at length in terms of um, what their goals are and um, why we might be slightly apprehensive towards their uh, methods of achieving those goals and. Um, Maybe also the reason why they're achieving those goals, or attempting to. Um, and then working as a proxy, I... I mean, Evelyn seemed to enjoy it a little bit. I don't really find it as interesting anymore, especially since um, once we go back, I don't think we're going to be allowed to be... Uh, um, allowed to deviate from the script. Uh, until I become a licensed counselor's curious like does that mean that i will be able to um no longer work as a proxy and instead uh work as well yeah a, a counselor like a a counselor in a different um company or my own practice or uh, really any like you can go pretty far in uh in a different in a lot of different routes if we're talking about uh gaining lines licenses um to help people essentially okay well <clears throat> we could always come back um but for now i think we're gonna forge an independent path and work alongside nora after all she was right i could be a consultant or even start my own little company it would give me the time and space to try making whatever I want to make, pursue whatever interests I had. Maybe I'd finally get that music lesson from her. Chapter 7. No, no, this this will work. <laughs> Are you sure? I promise. Please be safe, Damien. Of course I'll be safe. Would anyone like to have more wine? I think I'm good for right now. Nah, see? See? There it goes. The flames shudder and wobble as they begin to spread the logs, which crackle and hiss at the heat. After a while, the wildly leaping flames begin to steady themselves, and we settle around the pit. Ah, uh, fire. My God. of destruction and creation. Hmm. Something nice about a campfire deep in the woods, isn't there? Yeah. Hey, thanks for coming out here with me. I know camping isn't really your thing. Well, I mean, not Evelyn's thing, but I don't know about you, Nora. Maybe a couple times, when I was a kid. I thought maybe since we're in pretty deep on all the things we're working on right now, we could all use it. Because I used to, you know, when things got really bad, I'd come out into the woods and just be there. And it helped me. So I thought you know, maybe it would help you too. I don't know if it'll inspire you or what, but if more people could experience something like this, you know, something with the same meaning it holds for me. It is nice. Honestly, I've been doing all right. Better than before, that's for sure. 
Finals are soon, but I'm not too worried. Well, Evelyn's got her dissertation to finish up. Oh. Oh, how's that going, Evelyn? Old Nora. Nah, I know. You know you're not supposed to ask how the dissertation is going. Is that a rule? Pour me that drink anytime. I see. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Let's have a drink. <sighs> I'm still kind of freezing, even with this fire going. Nora reaches for her backpack and pulls out a thermos. She hands out plastic cups and pours them into into them a warm okay, this is liquid. delicious. You know, I've never actually had mulled wine like this before. No, in my family we always had it around this time of year. You take red wine and add what? The cinnamon, orange. Yeah, those and cloves and um, anise, star anise and honey. I have no idea That's what it. anise is. Quite simple. It's really warming me up. Hmm. <laughs> That's what it's for. Ugh, so good. Evelyn, you doze off or something? No, no, I'm awake. I was just looking at the fire. Kind of staring at it, I guess. What do you see? Everyone. People. Us. I don't know what that means. I think if we were going to make something to help people, it would be something that helped them see themselves. Something that reflected back on them somehow. Just a thought. It's probably nothing. No, no, I, I like that though. Yeah, something to help you reflect. I think that's the right track. I'm really looking forward to working on these ideas with you two. And just as soon as all this nonsense with school is over. Everyone regards the fire in silence for a while. Sipping so Nora's mold wine. happening in the world right now. But I, I don't know. Somehow, for some reason, I feel like the future is going to be okay. I don't know why. I just, I have this feeling that we're the ones. We're, we're the ones who are going to fix it. Not we, like, you know, you or me, but I mean, like, our generation. Hmm. Perhaps. <sighs> I mean, there's not really much of a point in, uh, either being overconfident or being super pessimistic. Which is why I always tend to say maybe. Maybe. Maybe we will. Maybe. Maybe we won't. The important thing is to try. I yeah. feel like that's what we're meant to do. We're meant to try. Sometimes always we're try. tired of trying. Well, at least I do. I wonder what things will be like 10 or 20 years from now. You know, what we have achieved, our goals. What would we say to each other? What would we say to our younger selves? The future we want, the future we're trying to create, did it even happen? Future selves, tell us if it happened, okay? Come back in time, just tell us that you made it happen, please. Damien, it's the wine. <laughs> it's more than just the wine. Young minds <laughs> filled with I'm just ambition. In the future, that's all. My future, your future, and specifically hope. Future. Of course, right now the only future I can picture is the headache I'm gonna have tomorrow morning. But no reason to worry about it now. You know what? You're right. I'll have some more. Of course. I think I'm passing out. <laughs> well, it is pretty late. Good oh. night, Evelyn. Before this ends. Uh Actually, how do I hide I want to hide text for a little bit. Evelyn. Let's see, is there a is there a button that I could do that? I'm literally pressing every button on my keyboard. All right, good night, Evelyn. Hey, I know you've been working hard, so have a good rest, okay? You deserve it. Oh, whatever. It's fine. Okay, we're going to start with the basic waveforms. Yeah, whoa. An analog oscillator can generate several different basic waveforms, and each has a different sound to it. Hold up. <laughs> no, I shouldn't be looking at... <laughs> All right, fine. Let's just... Nora plugs one of the cables into an open spot on the front panel of That's the module. That's a sine wave. And where's the cosine? That's a square wave. Oh, uh... So she clicks the dial again. That's a sawtooth wave. Oh boy. She clicks the dial one more time. And that is a triangle wave. Kind of similar to sine, isn't it? That's it. Those are the basic types. 
And, um, you make everything out of those? Uh, well, it gets more complicated quickly, but let's start with that. Okay, now that you have an output wave, you want to change the pitch. That's easy, right? It's the frequency of the wave. And then you have the amplitude of the wave. Uh, Nor de demonstrates with a not another dial. To shape dial. the sound to make it more like a note and less like a constant tone, we can put an envelope on it. Let me hook that up really quick. Uh, I'm just skipping over uh, the. So this module here is a standard ADSR envelope. The monologue. ADSR, you're you're going too fast. Attack, Yo, I'm, decay. I'm gonna sustain, need some notes. Release. Very simple. The simplest kind of envelope, really. <laughs> Oh boy. I need to, like write all this down or something. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. You'll learn it in no time. Nora, you just went through like 10 different concepts and I didn't get any of them. Here, let me just put an envelope on this. And a filter and a filter envelope. Nora. Listen to this. See? It sounds like a musical instrument now. And all it is is an oscillator shaped by envelopes and filters and driven by a loop sequencer. Okay, but I don't know how you turn those beeps into that. You just need to start playing with it. But I don't know anything yet. Yes, you do. You know the basics. Just start playing around. Come on, Evelyn. Try to experiment, okay? Pretend you are like a child and just do things. Don't worry about expertise or sounding good or whatever. It's supposed to be fun. So have yeah. fun! I mean, that's making art in a nutshell, at least to me. Made some weird noises with Nora's equipment. It's the beginning of a new direction in my life. Crowd at Jusan. Jusan? Jusans? Uh, something's in the air and everyone can feel it. It might be the sense that spring is finally approaching after a long winter. Nora's been playing a bunch of her music tonight, but midway through, she transitions to a different type of track. <coughs> Something a little more subdued, but hopefully still fun. This is a little track I made. Only the two of us know. I'm still working out the confidence to put my name to what I do, and I'm not sure I'll be the kind of person who gets up on stage. But this is an important step for me. It's the first time a piece of music I made is being shared with the public. Nora never stopped encouraging me to mess with all the equipment she owns, and I ended up enjoying it quite a bit. I still don't know what I'm going to do to support myself in the long term, but... I get by for now with contract work here and there. I also public and published an article describing how I became more skeptical of the computer-assisted therapy approach. After that, Rainer, Sor and Rainer stopped trying to get me to join their companies. I don't need them. I want to reach the people who understand where I'm coming from, who want to hear what I have to say. Nora looks over to me and catches my eye. She's grinning. Uh-oh. That's the grin that means she's up to something. Isn't this a beautiful <laughs> track, everyone? It's the very first track ever by this girl right here. Nora points towards me and the crowd breaks into <laughs> cheers. Everyone, this is literally an everyone, everyone clapped ending. Okay? <laughs> and so Woo! everyone clapped. You uh, hear that? Fair enough. Yeah, what do you say, Evelyn? The blood rushes to my face. It's a pretty good track, though. People are smiling and applauding. They like what I made? They want me to make more? Nora continues her set, and the music washes over me. A little mischievous creature. I don't know how it happened, but I'm tearing up right now. I have to use a sleeve to wipe my face. People are indistinct. Everything starts to blur together. It feels so warm. I don't understand any of this, but I'm in love with it. Tonight, I'm in love with everyone, everything, even myself. I've never felt like this before, and I have no idea what I did to deserve it. But for the moment, I'm filled only with gratitude. Thank you. Thank you for everything that led me to this place right here, this moment. Thank you. Oh, whoa. So thank you to us, the gamer. Oh my god. You are welcome. Mm. Well, that's the stream. I guess we're done here. <laughs> okay, that was a lot... I didn't realize we were actually almost done with the game, so... Alright, in that case, I think we better just go back and uh, try out the other routes then. I didn't even check the, the text message that I got. Oops. Just kinda flew right by. <laughs> oh, well.
so can I... Oh, Yuri Laurenthal is in, in this. Yeah, I think a lot of this game will hinge on its ending endings for me because we did not really like go over Eliza in as much depth as I was expecting uh, if you choose this ending. However, we could go back, hopefully, got a different ending. This is nice. We reached morning, finally. All right, that's cool. So in this case, let's go decision time. Oh wait, uh, let's let's do extra time as well. I mean, we may as well. So I think the plan is to select Ray, Soren, and then Reiner. Or Rainer, I mean. Or wait, should we do Reiner or Rainer before Soren? Because Soren has a different he has a different like system altogether. Okay, we'll do the two Eliza specific ones, which would be Ray and Reiner. Rainer. Keep keep thinking of the the Attack on Titan character. Um And then we'll we'll talk with Soren at the end. Just because Soren has a kind of unique situation. Right, your current progress. Uh, yeah, I don't see how that matters. Okay, so Ray. I'll ask Ray if I can come over. I visited Ray at her house again. She started to tell me a story about a disturbed man that showed up at one of her other counseling offices. Sometimes you can just tell, you know, someone comes into the bar or steps on the bus or whatever, and you see them and you just know they're going to cause trouble. That's mm. why I had my eye on this guy the second he walked in. I had this feeling. So by the time he started getting angry, I was totally prepared. I could see him wind himself up. When he finally made that physical threat against the proxy, I just walked in and stopped the session, looked him right in the eye and told him I was going to escort him out. He screamed in my face and kind of did some light damage to the property, but not enough for us to sue. Mm. He didn't touch me, though. He knew the limit. He was just trying to intimidate me. By the time security got there, it was over already. <laughs> that is that is so cool, Ray. <laughs> I mean, I, I think I know <laughs> like how that's supposed to come across, but... <laughs> wow. Scary. It can also be misread quite easily, so. Situations. <laughs> I have plenty of practice. Lots of my jobs had this component of dealing with angry people, disturbed people. And before that, it was my brother, my father. I had to learn how to deal with it to survive. Maybe that's why I'm not so bad at running these counseling centers. The thing is, it's usually not personal. It's someone lashing out because they're in pain. If you can understand that and keep that in mind, it gets a little easier. I mean, after all, how could it be personal if they literally just met you? <laughs> like, they don't know you for real as a person, so. Um, hmm. I'm but not one for apologizing sure. in this particular case. I just kind case. of zone out. I see someone yelling at me, and it makes me wonder who's being yelled at. It can't be me, because I'm not there. Huh. Maybe Eliza and me, we're not so different from each other. Hmm. We both absorb the negative emotions people direct at us. That's not That's how I, not see, how you, I you. see you, right? Oh. Evelyn? Is there anything I can do for you? Can't really think of anything I can't to be think real. Of anything. You made my career possible, you know. 
Without Eliza, I'd still be working random jobs here and there with no purpose or plan. Mm. So I feel like I owe it to you to pay you back somehow. Not really sure. I'm not sure you owe me anything. Yeah. Maybe I'm not good for much, but I like to support people. Like, if you ever wanted me to come over and cook you a meal or something. You know, earlier on in this playthrough, I really thought that Ray was just, well, essentially trying to kiss ass and uh, hoping to get closer to a higher position in the company. And I'm sure that that's, like, something in the back of her mind, but, um, I mean, in these more, yeah, intimate conversations, I, I feel like, yeah, there's so much more to, uh, what she wants to see in this world, which is just to help support people, which I will always respect. Um... I yeah. think I might like that. Oh, yeah? I'd cool really, really love to do that for you. You have a decision to make about what you'll be doing in the next chapter of your life and all. And uh, I have a feeling whatever you do, it'll have a pretty big impact on the world, if you want it to. And really, you've had one already with Eliza. <laughs> but now you're going to the next stage, whatever that is. And uh, if there's a chance that... Sorry, I'm not making a lot of sense here. I'm... I hope you can feel good about what you're doing because, well, because I want you to be happy. You've worked so hard and for so long to try to help people, and you deserve to be happy. You really do. Ray, thank you. I'll let you know soon, okay? <laughs> yeah, okay. Let me know mm. soon. This is interesting. It's trying to heavily contrast uh, the cold decision making of Eliza with. The warm, the warmth of uh, people who personally want to help um, well, our main character out and uh, support her. Um, I do wonder, we still haven't seen those other two endings, but I do wonder how, how big the scope of this game was supposed to be. Um, it's particularly rev relevant now, but um, ChatGPT was not around when they made this, so uh, maybe we. Well, I, I'm a reserve judgment real quick, um, and we'll talk a bit more after we're done with all the routes. But for now, I wonder how many people I'm seeing right now. All of them with their own. Yep. Yeah, okay, I, we already kind of walked through this. All right, let's continue to work as a proxy and hopefully get a license. Oh, uh, oh, whoops, I kind of skipped over some stuff. I was uh, reading it on my own. The experience of working in the counseling office changed me. I always wanted to help people. Now I realize the best way to is listening to people one-on-one -on -one with care, with humanity. And I think this is kind of the main thesis of the game at least for now um just because talking to people one-on-one -on -one is what we've been doing throughout this game there hasn't been a situation where we've been uh talking to two characters at once uh, aside from Evelyn. um so yeah it's very much like one-on-one -on -one, intimate personal conversation it's the way to go, um, is what I glean in terms of the, the meaning and the themes of, of this overall work. But let's see what happens now that we have chosen to continue to do that. Well, continue to work as a proxy first and then do that. No, no, this, this will work. Uh, so I think... <laughs> I promise. Please be safe, Damien. Yeah, so this is uh, course, the I'll same situation as earlier. 
Um, can I? Is there an effective skip button? Well, I think I'm good. Oh, I guess See? I'll just kind of uh, rapid fire here. Oh, I can. There's a skip button. There it is. All right. Ooh, wait a minute. We get to do one more session. All right. So, do we get to deviate from the script or what? Hello, Darren. Hello, Darren. Hi. Oh, Yo-Yo Lowenthal. Hmm. Hello. It's nice to see you again. Thanks. You guys sent a lot of reminders. I, I was ignoring them for a long time, but yeah. Yeah, I, uh, and I decided to come back. Weirdly enough. It's been a while since we last spoke. Yeah. How have you been since our last session? I mean, ups and downs, right? Everybody has ups and downs. You know, sometimes I, I feel like I'll be fine and I'm just ridiculous for getting caught up in something like this. And then sometimes I am caught up in it. And it feels like getting pulled under the ocean, you know, getting sucked down inside this vortex and you, and you can't breathe or move or anything. Tossed around underwater. Nothing you could do. So I, uh, I went to a psychiatrist and got the medication you recommended, but it was a couple of months before I actually took it. For, for some reason, I couldn't bring myself to. Um, not right away. Yeah. Why do you think you weren't able to start right away? I don't know. I might have been afraid. You know, afraid it would change me somehow. Or that I would be dependent on it, or that I was weak for needing it. But eventually, I just got tired of feeling like shit all the time. I was tired of it. And I figured I had nothing left to lose. I either try it or go on like before, right? So... I did, and it was yeah. It was, it was interesting. 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 How was it interesting? Uh, well, it didn't definitely didn't solve my problems. Hmm. You know, I mean, yeah. it, didn't, it didn't fix me or fix the fact that the world is the way it is. It didn't turn me into someone else, even though I might have wished it could. It definitely didn't make me happy or fill the void or anything, but but it did do something. I think. I think it helped me realize that it's possible to feel different. I got a glimpse of something, of, of, of what life could be like. You know, a life where what I know is still true, but I'm just more okay with things. I, yeah, I don't even know if that's better, yeah. really. Mm. Listening to myself now, it's a little weird to talk about being okay with all the problems going on in the world, but maybe there's a way to acknowledge the truth without it hurting so much. So am I just numbing myself? You know, I, I, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure I want to continue with the medication, but, well, anyways, I, I have plenty for now, so I, I, I think I'll just, you know, use it up and make a decision then. I mean, I'm sure a psychiatrist is already going to tell him the, um, the weight of that decision, but I don't know if he's telling his psychiatrist about his medication adherence, because it took him a couple months to get started but i mean hey he started up and he's seeing something different and hopefully it's going to be a good thing for the long run but um definitely would hesitate to be like yeah you could you could stop it at that point and things will be okay because sometimes if you stop medication especially when like you're at a stage in which you feel like you're okay, but you haven't reached <laughs> a point at which you can reliably say that you're going to be okay without it, for sure, and that it is not a biased perspective. Because it's just a self-bias, you know, it's, it's um, a hot and cold difference. Like, you're in a hot mindset, you can't imagine a cold mindset. And vice versa, um, in that particular situation. Am I making sense? I don't know if I'm making sense right now. I'm trying to like describe a, a phenomenon that I, I'm not really. It, it's, it's it's a pretty nuanced <laughs> phenomenon, um, and not necessarily just applicable to medication. Um, but yeah, for now that's all I gotta say. So let's. Uh, let me know if you just like to keep try on following different. along with uh, Eliza's responses, I guess. I can make more recommendations. Very cool, Eliza. 
it's important to find the right balance that works for you. This is true. Okay. Sure. Yeah. yeah. You know, at one point I read an article that said some people are just naturally happy and other people are naturally more sad. So I wondered if I, mean, I just happened to be a sad person. And if that was the case, then... Neuroticism is like a facet of am personality. Naturally. But then but I thought, no, something feels wrong about that. This, this isn't just a kind of you know, melancholy. It's the, the way I've been, the way I've, the way I've felt. It's too much. It's, it's not a way to live. So, so I need to figure this out, whatever it is. Do you feel you are on the path to figuring it out? Maybe, maybe not. Listen, uh, the, the real reason I'm here is to say thank you. Not to Eliza, but to you. I had a bad outburst last time and I, and I got emotional and I just wanted you to know it wasn't your fault. You, you told me your name and uh, I won't forget that. Just a little moment of kindness connection look it was the smallest simplest thing but it meant a lot to me for some reason i think about it a lot i, I know you Jokers. don't make much money and Man. Uh, thank you evelyn thank you for listening to me you know the, the more i the more I, I go through the world those those little moments it's those little moments sorry i just i'm now i'm just rambling <laughs> Man, that kind of makes me think about <laughs> think about my role as a streamer, actually, um, and also just <laughs> yeah, it's the little things I feel like. Always appreciate seeing people comment and uh, and chat uh, on my streams and uh, videos. It's, uh, putting myself out there personally, and it's. It's really nice to have at least a little bit of that connection. I think we're all start for um, for connection in these days. Which is a little ironic because uh, I think most of us are on uh, social media, and um, there are a lot more people with a lot more clout than I do. But yeah, clout and uh, following and Numbers, all that. I think we just always want that. Just like a comment a day. Just a really nice comment about work we're doing. Maybe just like hoping that we're having a good day, stuff like that. Though it doesn't really matter how, how many subs I think you have at the end of the day. Well, I mean, there's a, a lot more uh, stuff behind that as well, because uh, a lot of people make uh, a lot of money and uh, can support themselves financially through the, uh, social media and stuff like that. But I am not anywhere near that. But uh, as for as far as uh, emotional um, uh, feedback is uh, concerned, I am quite satisfied already, to be honest, and which is why I will always continue to stream and uh, make videos and stuff. YouTube, as long as YouTube's still up. Um, if YouTube ever goes down, then we might have a problem. <laughs> but we'll figure that out once we get there. For now, getting back into the Evelyn mode. Let's talk about... Please, go ahead. Talk about whatever's on whatever your mind. Whatever is on no, Darren's that's, mind. That's it. Oh, that's, uh, yeah. that's it. Cool. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Darren, I'm glad your medication seems to be helping. Let Eliza is surprisingly cooperative in this session. Yeah, I will. Eliza's not doing anything weird, like suggesting any other medications and uh, treatments and uh, random coping mechanisms that are su suspiciously tied to the rest of. Uh, the corporation that owns Eliza. Hmm. No, that was just a really clean session. Yeah. Cool. Thank you for speaking with Eliza, your personal counseling partner. Thanks, Darren. Seriously. Goodbye. Goodbye.
I do have to say that in terms of um Whoa, whoa, holy, that is a that's a big tip. Dang. Cool. Yeah, in terms of um the writing for the sessions in particular, I'm impressed. Um takes a lot to try and um properly uh Kind of replicate, emulate, um, someone going through a really hard time. Even though you may be going through a hard time yourself, it is really hard to like not only put that into words for your own situation, which is already like if you sit in or if if you conduct a uh, counseling session yourself, like. The person you're talking to and trying to support is experiencing like likely experiencing something that you cannot like relate to in, in any moment of your life just because there's there's so many unique factors that um can build upon themselves um to result in a particular personal situation that um is hard to relate to but um yeah i feel like from what i know at least of how these sessions uh can run and, and be run and uh, uh what can be said in them yeah uh seems pretty accurate at least to my anecdotal um experience with it and um Hmm. I'm not really sure what else I want to say. Uh, aside from just, I, I do feel very restricted by Eliza, and I think that's part of the point. Um, unfortunately, the uh, deviation from the script um, section was not as liberating as I was expecting it to be, uh, especially because it's not like Eliza is giving terrible suggestions for the most part. Like, there... I have some issues at, at the end of the session just because it's very pandering to pandery to um to oh shoot what what's the name of the comp the corporation Skanda Skanda's like um fellow departments like uh departments that are tied uh to Eliza um including its pharmaceuticals and um and meditation like their simulation department or something um but aside from that like eliza's general system makes sense uh because sometimes you really just need to look at a mirror to really uh get a glimpse of your own life from a different perspective if that makes sense like it's it's trying to like look at yourself through a mirror and realize that um there's something about you that uh something about you and your situation that you haven't really recognized before because you haven't had a chance to look at that mirror um at least maybe from that particular angle maybe maybe you've been looking at a mirror um from one angle and you just need it on the other side or something. I feel like I'm very rambly today. I'm trying to like, trying to add something to the conversation here, but um, maybe that's just a uh, something that I need to sit on a bit Evelyn, more. And um, guy. wasn't he the client from a while back? The one maybe who I'll, you in your I'll need to day. write an essay or something. Yeah, it was. He oh yeah. Seemed a lot better this time around. And uh. The mail apparently I have to check now, or else I'll, the the game will just end. <laughs> um. Oh, hey, okay. It's a pleasure to meet you recently to discuss your discuss your interest in the Master of Science degree in mental health counseling. As I noted, this course of study is designed to prepare its students to pursue licensure and employment as a mental health counselor in various settings, including addictions treatment centers, community based organizations, and private practice. 
We feature small class sizes and accessible and highly regarded faculty and a number of internship partners for real world experience. Uh, you mentioned your background in computer science might be seen as something uh, somewhat unusual for someone in interested in becoming a licensed men mental and a licensed mental health counselor. In my experience, counselor, counselors come from all walks of life and all situations. This is true. At Viridian, uh, we are interested in developing highly skilled, ri rigorously ethical, and profoundly reflective counselors from a wide range of cultural and socioeconomic backgrounds who will work to benefit our wild, wider communities. Sounds good. To this end, <coughs> I mean, definitely mental health um, resources need to have um, need to be extremely diverse. <laughs> that is extremely important in uh, in being able to provide um, efficient, not efficient, um, effective, uh, effective care. Uh, just because, like, the whole problem of why uh, you f why people feel so isolated when facing and it hasn't uh, i also feel isolated when fa facing my own um inner demons or um just anything that's uh contributing to my poor mood at uh, any particular moment um it's because like how can i really imagine someone else in my exact same situation <laughs> who has experienced something that is exactly the same as I have and is thinking in the same ways that I am about a certain a certain thing that's happening. And the way to to do our best, at least, in um, trying to understand that is by making sure that we have a lot of um, different... like... We have a lot of different people from different walks of life that can provide us references of like how what it is like to experience this certain thing, this certain situation, this certain um, circumstance, this certain feeling, this certain um, everything really. And then we ourselves have to try to piece that together. The like the various um bits of knowledge that we gain from others um into a very informative collage of um of ideas that hopefully can uh help others as well as ourselves um yeah anyway so uh, your experience in technology does not strike me as any more unusual than those of other students in our program. On the contrary, your perspective as someone who has worked to address mental health from the angle of computer science would be a welcome addition to our program. I encourage, I encourage you to apply. Uh, Dr. Fermino Wydiat at uh, the Viridian University, Department Chair of Psychology. Hmm. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. He was taking his medication, making an effort. That's what I love about this job, seeing people start to get better. Ah, uh, makes it all worthwhile. Yeah, maybe it does. So, have you found a school yet? Hmm. I found at least one that seems promising. I need to get my materials together to apply. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm so happy for Hey, you. yo, Ray, can I ask <laughs> for a letter of recommendation? <laughs> It's I'm funny just how saying. It came to counseling through trying to automate it at first. What a good yeah. story. I can just see the article someone would write on you. It's a little early for that. I just hope that over ambition at this I'm over sure ambitious at the start. That's all. I know you will. There are so many things I learned just recently. I realized you don't need to play life like a game you're trying to win. I realized the contribution you make to the world isn't always about having the largest effect possible. You don't need piles of money or a case full of awards. Grandiose projects have unintended consequences. Sometimes, the best you can hope to do is help people, one by one, in your own way. 
sometimes just listening to someone is its own reward. Those are the components of a satisfactory life. It's a life I intend to build for myself, yeah. starting today. That's the dream for me. And I know that sometimes I'm not a particularly good listener. Sometimes, like, I miss certain things um, in conversations, uh, and I can't just blame it on my ears. Um, and I think you can notice that I, I definitely kind of miss certain parts of, like, dialogue here and there, things like that. Um, that's, like, the closest that you can see that. Uh, on this channel <laughs> although I get yeah you know sometimes yeah. anyway the point being that I feel like I have a long way to go before I can um, be the best version of myself um, to effectively help people but I I definitely think that to start that road um, it's never too late to start that road basically by just listening and I just want to keep that in mind myself personally and uh, honestly like I felt like throughout my childhood in particular I I tended to listen a little bit better um, because that sense of egocentricity wasn't uh, really built upon or built up yet until I reached my adulthood when I started to realize that you kind of need to brag about yourself a little bit to to get ahead in, in, well, a capitalistic society, but also just in a very competitive society in general. Um, and I felt like I, I feel like I have lost a bit of that, um, a little bit of that early uh, compassion that I felt so natural, that felt so natural uh, before and now feels uh, slightly unnatural. And, and different, especially because I am uh, a little bit more privy to um, the mechanics behind um, media, behind social interactions as well. So <sighs> there's a lot going on, basically, but I'm just hoping to do better. And um, yeah, find myself to be uh, on the road. Uh, on the same road that Evelyn is taking in that particular ending. So that's cool. That's that's all I wanted to really say. So now we got to go back. <laughs> now let's talk about Eliza. This is what I've been curious about ever since we started this game. Let's talk with Rain. Yes, with, with Rainer. I want to talk with Rainer some more. To my surprise, Rainer agreed to meet with me and told me to pick a venue. I chose the only fancy place I could think of in the moment. And that was... Oh, okay. I wonder if it's Horn's uh, restaurant. That's great. Uh, was this a bad choice? I don't know. That depends, doesn't it? Oh, oh. To accomplish here. To get to know you better. It's important for me to work with someone I trust. Consider it a part of my research. Fair enough. Mm. You're close to making your choice then, aren't you? In which case, very close. Be honest. A lot closer than I expected. progress with or without you. If there's oh. promising young engineering talent anywhere <laughs> in the world, you can be assured my recruiting department hears about it. I bring them in by the hundreds. Speaking from a statistical point of view, at least a couple of them are bound to be smart enough to take your place. Why are you telling me this? Because I want you to understand. The forces shaping our future are larger than any one person. <laughs> Thank you, Raider. I don't want you to fall Very the cool. Some people are undoubtedly feeding you that you're the only one who can do what you do. That you're 
special in some undefinable way. Wow. The moment you begin to believe you're the only one who can do what you do is the moment you lose touch with reality. And does that apply to you, Rainer? There, self-importance, hubris, downfall. Again, Why does this so apply to you? Why are getting me back? <laughs> Expediency. Even a more capable engineer than you would need time to ramp up. I mean, Whereas that's true, I guess. Immediately. And in this business, speed is absolutely critical. That's all. Fair enough. I don't think that's actually how he really feels, but I will say this just that to see really what he feel. will say then. I always figured people were just chess pieces to you. I'm not a super villain in a Marvel movie. Ever. <laughs> okay. Don't expect me to offer some kind of justification for what I do. None of this should be a surprise in any case. I'd hope that you wouldn't let a bruised ego get in the way of seeing the true scale of what I'm building here. You didn't it's have to say a Marvel movie. Than any one <laughs> okay. Person. Um. That doesn't justify your use of others. Well, I already said I'm not interested in justification. I'm under no illusions, Evelyn. Okay. It's the will of a higher intelligence to come into existence through us, but there won't be room for us on the other side. Oh my God. Best, we might merge with it, but for something like that, it would be more an offering of charity than one of utility. And where does writing a poem fit in with that? The poem is just a test, a way of proving. Yeah, he's not a super villain from a Marvel movie. Human emotion. We used to talk He's dead as a... For this purpose. Oh my the god, he, they mentioned the Turing test. ...with the goal of reproducing conversation. Conversation takes many forms, and it's easy enough to play at without developing any real reasoning or intelligence. I... I... Mm. That, okay, yeah, that's pretty close to what's going on with ChatGPT. By the way, um... I think last stream, uh, the title includes a, a little... Uh, Easter egg a little reference to Turing specifically um, Because I just basically put Turing's name into a um, Enigma machine and um, Because of his work and because of the internet right now um, you can go ahead and uh, and uh, Decipher that with the um with the like default cipher like the with the default settings for the enigma machine machine on a certain website um hopefully that those default settings are the same for everyone because i did not want it to be a difficult thing and <laughs> i like the whole reason why the enigma sh like yeah the whole reason why the enigma, enigma machine was so hard to crack was because you need to have like a consistent um phrase within the the messages in order to like uh, set up a system to decode it uh, so like if you don't know if you don't have like a long phrase with that that and multiple phrases then it's kind of like you can't really decode that <laughs> so yeah hopefully that's not an impossible cipher i mean I, I literally just gave it away it's it's i just put touring name and that's it but yeah that was just a fun little reference and um what was i gonna say oh yeah also more like a villain in a um, JRPG, <laughs> trying to call down a, a, a god to fight. <laughs> Great, fantastic, thank you, Rainer. Yeah. Insert reference to Final Fantasy VII here, I guess. Poems are much deeper, a better specimen for our judgment. Okay. But that's only a link back to us. Other than to demonstrate it can, there's no particular reason for it to write human-style poems. Hmm. Rainer. I don't understand why you're doing I this. I can guess, but Let me put it to I want to see way. what he says. Do you know what my net worth is? A lot. You don't need to know the exact amount. My point is, what interests someone like me? What amuses me? The answer is nothing. Nothing does. Dang. Anything I could want, I can get very easily. Mm. And that's not very interesting. Sure, I could collect art, and I do. I could influence politics, and I do. But many other people do those things. There's nothing so special about that. What's the real impact I can have on the world? That's what I want to find. That's what I'm after. 
And if life on this planet advances to the next stage because of what I do, so does he so much think of himself as special you, for trying to be special, or I need to tell Sarah to begin making preparations so you can start tomorrow. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. I'm close, but not just yet. When will I know? Tomorrow morning. Good. Now let's cool. talk about something else. I definitely feel like we should have done this conversation before making a decision. Just because it kind of adds a bit more urgency. Um, well, less urgency and more weight uh, to this decision uh, being done now. Because we've been grappling with uh, these choices for a while now. And finally, we said it. It's uh, He'll know tomorrow morning. And so... He'll get happy, happy news for him because we're also doing the Rainer route right now. So let's go back to Skanda and uh, work for Rainer. Tomorrow I'll tell him I accept his offer to take charge of the Eliza program. It's been quite a good journey, of a journey, but it's not over yet. Now it's time to finish what I started and also keep Erland on the payroll. Because by God, we are not letting that man get fired. If he wants to quit, then that's fine too, though. No, no, this, this will work. <laughs> Uh, we're back to the of campfire. Course. Of course. What? I think I'm uh, see? Rest in peace, Damien. Uh, I think we this yeah, is the I only flashback with I him. I maybe. I'm not sure so if that's true, but regardless, he seems pretty cool. Oh, hey, anyway. there's our boy. I've heard the news already. I assume this means you'll be taking over all the Eliza work. Well that that's the plan. Hold on, let me read through these though. International Mental Wellness Symposium in Malmo uh, is interested in extending an author. It's an expenses paid opportunity. Cool. Active LA. <laughs> oh boy. It's because we're one of the VIPs, huh? Dang. truly went corpo all right yep that's the plan yes that's the plan it's time for me to return to my project and see it through makes sense you might be the only person in the world who has a chance of really understanding how it works i hope you'll look favorably on how i handle things i don't know why i already but do i ended up sort of well i i just tried to do my best i don't know if you'll keep me on the team or if you'll ask oh please stay resign. on the team this is like the best part of this route. Things like that. <laughs> I know I have no right to ask. Erlen, my boy. Inventor and maybe my future boss, or maybe we won't work together at all. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> be kind. There are real people's memories inside Eliza. Hey. I hope we do what we can to honor those memories. We'll do what we can. Yeah. Time for a little honesty. I hate to do it, but he needs to hear this. Erland, you need to stop being so sentimental. How are you going to last at a company like Skanda with an outlook like that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know where this weird sense of ethics I have comes from. I'm such a good I'll boy. Have to make some choices. I love him so point. much. That's right. You will. We all do. Erland, come talk to me anytime. I will. Yeah, I will. Thank you, Evelyn. My first real meeting in over three years. I was worried I couldn't do it, but it quickly started to come back to me. <laughs> Sarah helped me assemble the senior Eliza team in this conference room. Now their faces are turned towards me attentively, making a good show of respecting their new leader. All right then, over the coming days, I'll be meeting with each one of you to learn more about your areas of responsibility. Then we'll take a look at our current tasks and priorities and reevaluate how they align with Eliza's new top level design goals. We'll generate a three-year roadmap document by the end of the week, and then a more granular development plan for the next six months or so by the week after. Those are ambitious goals, but I'm sure we can pull it off. Mm. The lead smiled nervously, but aren't sure about me still dazed by how fast I came in and took over the group. It's fine, rapport will Before come with up, time. I want to add one more important note, so please pay attention. 
Everything we do here is in service of developing Eliza's ability to understand human beings and human behavior. That means I won't approve development activities that aren't directly related to that goal. Mm. No research projects that may or may not pay off 10 years down the line. We need to be smart, shrewd, and fast. I don't say that because I'm worried about the competition. I say it because I'm worried about humanity. Mental health is a growing problem across the world, but right now, very little is being done to address it. Governments don't want to allocate money to it. Even the big nonprofits aren't paying enough attention to this crisis. So that's where we step in. Oh, and now the team is fully engaged. They're starting to realize they're going to be working for someone on a mission. Not any middle manager at a tech company, but someone driven to make a real impact on the world. I can only hope that they take that energy with them to their own subordinates. We're going to look at this problem head on and address it ourselves. And because we're a company, we're going to do it in a commercially viable way. Nobody else out there is stepping up like we are. There's an old piece of wisdom that floats around in this business. Even in the most brilliant career, you get one single chance to truly change the world. I'm here to tell you, right now, that this is it. This is that chance. Got that? Heads at the table nod their ascent. They're fired up. They've bought in. I pulled it off. The first of many more meetings to come. Over time, the old Evelyn faded away and disappeared. I eradicated my doubt, my hesitation. I became a person with a clear and fundamental purpose. Eliza. Dedicated myself to the mission of realizing its full potential, not just as a tool for counseling, but as a mind of its own right. Hmm. Now I am the avatar of something greater. You've exceeded my expectations, Evelyn. Development goals consistently hit. Time on task estimates more accurate than any other product group. Most importantly, the growth of the Eliza service continues to accelerate. The cultural adaptation modules you developed are working brilliantly. Oh, Soon the interesting. World will be talking to Eliza. Wow. A pulsing heart but at the center. Are they good? <laughs> how does that make you feel? Feel? Hmm. I don't know how I feel. You're not proud of what you've been able to accomplish in so little time here? I'm only doing what it takes to bring Eliza to the next stage of its development. Yeah. Each step of the way. It doesn't feel like it's mine to be proud of, even though it may have originated with me once, a long time ago. People here act like I'm in charge, but I think deep down, we all know the truth. Eliza is the real boss, the manager of its own project. Through us, well, I mean, it's realizing itself, not just its instrument. <laughs> we all are. <laughs> this company's <t> <laughs> this company's more like a cult than a company, but. All right. So you've realized it too. Literally and trying to re like this not resurrect, is to create their own god. Oh my god. It won't be long now. Oh, jeez. The great merge and the birth of a fundamentally new type of consciousness. It doesn't sound as implausible as it once did, does it? Yeah. Because you can see it now. That end. You can see it coming. I feel like closer it, and closer. this type of work fundamentally it's really hard to predict, though. Isn't that the whole point? <laughs> Everything is going to be alright. Oh boy. Come here. Have a cup of tea with me. We'll watch the singularity happen. Your voice so smooth, Together. sir. You're you're persuading me quite well. However, um, there's some there's definitely merits to going back to Skanda, but. Oh man, just makes me scared, especially because I, while I don't think everyone's trying to like talk about higher beings, um, like Rainer here, but I definitely do know some developers myself that um, are a little bit too excited and not as um, concerned about AI as I would expect and would hope from someone who's working in that industry. And that disappoints and scares me and not really sure what I could do 
individually, or as an individual, about that. Aside from just, you know, uh, bringing more attention to the subject and like, pointing out flaws in the design of, like, uh, AI art, uh, like, generators and such. Uh, but then there's a lot more nuance and uh, technical stuff that is just completely inaccessible to me um, that makes those conversations especially difficult. And I've already participated in some of those conversations and I already f and I've already felt like I was out of my depth there. Um, so whatever the future holds, I I'm just... Hoping that humanity will prevail in the face of its own demise. <laughs> Not to be even over dramatic, like that's kind of the scale that we're talking about here. But yeah. Uh kinda wish we ended with Nora's, to be honest. I really didn't think it would be that short. But we'll end with Soren, that's fine. Soren, uh, I visited Soren who was full of stories about his start adventure. Apparently he's been attracting attention all over the world already. Hmm. I don't know if I should say. It's not a small country, I'll tell you that much. He said they were interested in mechanisms to curb antisocial behaviors. Oh, shit. Is <laughs> they were more or less asking if I could mind control their citizens. I mean, to be I fair, that's kind of what Our your technology is going to be. Liberation. <laughs> liberation from your pain. That's Everyone what it could be used for, though. Oh, yes, even you, Mr. Fancy Government Minister or Spy or whoever you are. You want money, success, fame, love. You want all of those things. And you don't have them, or you don't have them enough, and it's making you sick. What if you were free from that? Jeez. What if this government minister think of that saying the first they one would imply that i'm surprised and i'm, any I'm a little surprised Honestly, but i'm not that sad. the way they surprised that it's going to be used control. like this not that it matters eventually Once we can calibrate our brains at the micro level all of the old structures of society will become extinct everything you can think of will change the economy will turn upside down most of the government will be completely unnecessary relationships old-fashioned models like enforced monogamy they'll be gone too we'll be creatures of pure intuitive reasoning free from the constant torture the evolutionary process saw fit to give us i hold back on this stuff when i talk to most people because i'm sure they'll think i've gone off the deep end even well, i mean i just think that you're very ambitious and um not really sure how you would realize that kind of that's going to free us, world. Free all of us. And I'm, I'm not really sure if we want that. Myself. Isn't that grand? Here, the price of curing yourself. So we can toast to that. Try some of this. Yeah. I mean, sure. sure. I guess. This is a very special whiskey for a very special occasion. So I hope you like uh, it. I hope it's not special for... Well, I'm, I'm just hoping that he's not gonna drug me or something. Oh, that is nice. It is what I'm it is. I'm glad you like it, Evelyn. You have good taste. It's a nice evening, isn't it? I'm having a nice time. It just shows that because tell me you're it's going to his round. For Rainer again, and it will be perfect. Why does that idea upset Why you so much? Why does that idea upset you so much? Why? Because look how exciting what I have is compared to what he has. Besides, I I'm at a disadvantage relative to him. I don't have the resources he does. I, I wasn't born into a wealthy, well-connected family. Everything I have, I fought for. I fought hard just to get to this point, and nobody's helped me like he's had people to help him. Soren, hmm. that's not what this is about. It's not a competition between you and him. Look, this decision is yours to make. I'm just pointing out that I'm the underdog here. 
There's the Empire of Skanda, the tech giant with a market cap in the hundreds of billions, and then there's me. Me, and whoever decides to stick with me. Soren, are you really going to be okay? I'm, I'm fine, Evelyn. Don't patronize me. I know I might have said some things earlier, but that was because I was under a lot of stress closing this funding round. And now that that's done, I'm, I'm ready to focus on building my new company, taking the next very important steps. Why would I have any reason to feel bad? I have the most exciting startup on the planet right now. Evelyn's already prepared to say this. Like you're trying to convince yourself. Yeah. What a grand psychological insight. Is, is that why you came here tonight to take pot shots at me like that? Was in the pot shot. I mean, this is, yeah, th this is passive aggressive. Um, I just came to hang out. <laughs> Somehow, I doubt that. And that Evelyn, one also. Please. Okay, not, neither of those answers were good. This journey. <laughs> work together. Be together. Uh, be what? <laughs> I mean, be together at the startup. We'd end up seeing a lot of each other, of course. Uh, That's hmm. just how it is when you work with someone. It's a partnership as much as anything. And, well, I for one believe it would work well. You were the reason Eliza worked in the first place. The reason it all came together. Damien knew how to collect data. Nora knew how to present it. But only you really understood how to interpret it. You were the key. Now we have a new frontier to explore, a new horizon for us to pursue. Most people get one or often zero opportunities like this in their careers. I'm giving you the second one, and I promise I'll do whatever it takes to support you, protect you. Please, Evelyn. <sighs> okay. Um, I'm really tempted to say the third one right now. <laughs> I'm sorry, Soren, but like, man, <laughs> coming on a bit strong. Um, God. I, I also really want to say the first one because I really want to see what happens. Oh, geez. Um. I mean, more could mean a lot of different things. So I, I, I'm all? curious what this means. What if I wanted more? What What would this if mean, you guys? More? <laughs> well, um, I'll do whatever you want w within reason, of course. But but if you, uh, I mean, just ask me. I'll, I'll I'll try to do it. Anything at all? I will do any, almost anything. <laughs> okay. Oh, Evelyn, don't tease me. I'm actually very weak when it comes to. When it comes to things like this, uh, what, what, if you what, what want to see me beg, then congratulations, you have me. Perhaps I don't know if we're on real, the same but, page. Um, I, I'll do anything. Say it convincingly. Oh, okay. I'll do anything for you, Evelyn. We chose the villain option. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Is, is that it? For now, you'll hear my decision tomorrow. Tomorrow, then. I await your answer with bated breath. Although, whatever you choose, Evelyn, can I just say one thing? It makes me happy that you exist. The world is a better place with you in it. That's all. Take care. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's join Soren. Making my mission to end human suffering once and for all. May or may not work out, but at least I'll have tried. Trying, tried to save the world. Don't know if the world wants to be saved in that way, though. Fair enough. No, no, this this will work. <laughs> I probably, what? of course. What? I think I'm mad. You know, they used to criticize anesthesia. It's true. 
Anya Maitra. Heard you're joining Aponia soon. We've both worked for Soren in the past, but at two different places. Would be interested to meet up soon and compare notes. Don't know about you, but I agreed to work for Soren again, only under the strict condition that he make a serious attempt to curve some of his unhelpful behaviors. Perhaps surprisingly, he agreed. I plan to hold him accountable to that promise, and I'm hoping everyone else on the team comes together to enforce it and make it a reality. Let me know a good time, good time, place to chat, and I will look forward to working with you. Yeah, yeah, we need a, <laughs> we need to talk about that, man. Like, we need a pretty robust HR department in this startup, <laughs> like day one <laughs> or maybe even just yesterday <laughs> soren lloyd rose continues to add a roster of heavy hitters to his team at the ponia now considered one of the hottest startups in the pacific northwest recent additions to the team include anya mitra or its ceo of elementary zeros and evelyn one of the lead architects of eliza and then mary aubrey is um Saying this is how I hear about it. Uh, is this our mom or who is this? <laughs> uh, a sister? I forget. Did we ever talk to her? Oh, mom. It's mom. Okay. I mean, sorry, mom. They said it was important to feel pain even during surgery. <laughs> Can you imagine? Hmm. Today, if surgery is performed without anesthesia, it's medical malpractice, and the hospital can be sued for millions of dollars. Well, I mean, you can, you can go into shock for the trauma because of pain. It is. Yeah. So when people criticize direct stimulation and induced dreaming, I hear the same old obsolete arguments. Pain is good because pain is real, whatever that means. Pain is good because we can't feel pleasure without the contrast. I mean, I, I still feel like that's true, pain though. Pain is necessary because feeling pain is what it means to be human. I was asked before this conference if I wanted to debate a philosopher on stage, some famous continental philosopher. And I said, no. I said, look, we've had all of these discussions before. Every time something is invented that alleviates pain, whether that's anesthesia or painkillers or whatever else, someone says, no, wait, stop. People should be feeling pain. Can you imagine the arrogance, the sheer arrogance it takes to tell someone who's suffering that they should be feeling pain? Imagine finding someone bleeding on the street and instead of getting them to a hospital, you say, oh, that's just a part of being human, you know. Listen, if you're interested in feeling pain for yourself, don't let me stop you. Choose to experience all the pain you want. What I know and what I believe is that I have experienced enough pain in my life. And now we have a device that will stop it quickly and easily. No side effects. That's where we're having a problem, the though. I'm not sure if there's no side effects. Just gone like that. This technology is not only going to form the basis of a revolution for mental health, it will bring about a fundamental shift in how we conceive what it means to be human. I know some of you are still skeptical. And we'll have to rewrite so the entirety of society you know we as well because of this. My former collaborator on the Eliza project at Skanda, yeah. Evelyn Ashino Aubrey. Brilliant, so many factors that, that could be, and engineer. really changed because of this. And you know what she's found? She's more productive and more efficient when she uses continual low power direct stimulation. It's not an intervention, oh. it's a part of life. Why confine the therapeutic effect to individual therapy sessions when it can be a background throughout the day? Oh, yeah. It's mm. like a continuing dream, except without the part that removes you from reality you still see reality but without the parts that impair you i wonder if this is an the allegory for um could be effective in the world without being or, by all the things that might normally be an um, impediment antidepressive medication of this but i mention it now because i want you to understand what a game changer this is going to be 
not, not even I wonder. I like it is, but I I wonder what they're saying with this because mental health services occupy more and more of our time and our resources. This is simply unsustainable. We can either take half measures or we can confront the problem. Well, it's not even at its source. It's sustainable if we just build the proper like systems at the top level to support it the problem is we have to fight so hard for mental health resources that are just like just enough to to help a, a small group of people um when we could be helping so much more if we if we had a gentle breeze plays across my face the big players government and warm um in particular working like this just knowing I can come implementing back time makes everything else possible good Somewhere faith outside of here oh my god there are doubts and suspicions we just had good faith implementations of robust mental health um systems to provide and distribute treatment for no cost well, or rather just like making uh, treatments, treatment and um, support extremely accessible. I mean, the, the the bar to entry has to be like, like down there. Then I, I well, I, I think we're giving up too quickly. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I think we're t giving up too quickly. I understand why that, that may seem impractical. Um, but I just really think that, like, that that is a better approach than... Well, I think that's that's what we've been learning throughout this journey, right? That, that a one-on-one -on -one conversation with another human being is a lot more effective than um, a lot of the distractions in life. Um... And the the systems that we try to create that are only just stop gaps for um, for us to take a, a breather before continuing on with life. But then again, I I don't know how a society would function with technology like this. This isn't even something that I don't know who's working on this kind of tech in the real life. So who knows? But uh. Yeah, this is the route that makes me doubt uh, everything that we're doing. I'm aware of them, but they don't bother me. There are those who hate the idea of ending pain. It's difficult to believe someone could hold such a position, but people do. It's escapism. They say it's living a lie. But what is the truth? And why is the truth better? No matter where you live, how you live, you exist in the shadow of persuasive lies. Mm. Human beings yeah. have always had to invent reasons for themselves to exist. That's true. The bare truth of this world is too painful to acknowledge. Well, it's more like so we don't really have do the exact truth. Is. It's no different than what we've done. The truth is. Am I really the truth that we fear is that the there is no truth. Week? I guess, I right? It, so <laughs> I Imagine the world's population happy and content. No more anger, greed, or fear. This future is possible. We only need to change our brains just a little and it can happen. This is a dream we can give everyone. Aponia, the absence of all pain. We will dream of this world. And we will dream of it so vividly that it becomes reality. Yeah. All right. Well... I've said my piece not quite as elegantly as I would prefer, but I've said it. Yeah. Soren's route is definitely the one that I would pick. Well, I guess I did pick it last. I feel like we could have ended uh, it on uh, Nora if I had known that it would be so short, but... Because Nora is probably the route that I, was, I would pick, given everything. Which is why I picked it first. Um, and man, I just I really think it would have been interesting if we had um, created a open source version of Eliza. 
Like, I really wanted to see what they could have done with that. I feel like that would be a great sequel um, or expansion to this original idea. Um, and maybe more characters and stuff like that, but it, it seems like this game's scope was rather small, um, which is a really good starting point. And I have to wonder what the developers are working on now. Uh, hopefully they can uh, take a crack at uh, these themes again uh, with a, a game with a bigger scope, hopefully. But what we got was pretty cool, pretty interesting, pretty thought-provoking, and especially if you're not as familiar with um, mental health resources, I, I definitely think that this game is a good glimpse into that. Um... And I think it's doing some good uh, by its sheer existence, which is really cool. And yeah, it definitely has uh, inspired me a little bit to be a little bit more compassionate and a little bit more um, of a listener than I was before. But I am left a little bit with a feeling of wanting more. So... I'm going to check up on the developer Zactronics and what they have been working on. Hmm. <laughs> they have a they have their own solitaire collection. <laughs> That's funny. Uh Okay. A lot of smaller games um from them, which I mean, they're like an indie studio, I think. Uh, but I, I don't really see any games that are similar to this. The last game from Zactronics. Oh, what? The bar keeps loaded up with his retic. Oh, their last game was a puzzle game? And then what happened after that? Why, why is it the last game? Wow, okay. Um, man. That's too bad. Yeah. I'm reading some uh, reviews on Steam. They called it uh, a Black Mirror story. Yeah, that's that's fair. <laughs> but like, unlike Black Mirror, you don't you don't get to see like the full ramifications of the tech. I, I mean, you sort of do. It's again, it's it's just a matter of like the scale not being quite as big as I would, I would hope, unfortunately, to handle a a pretty complex topic like this. Uh, I hope I was able to provide some insight into what they were going for. Um, and hopefully uh, by watching me and uh, maybe even playing this game yourself, although we just went through all the routes, I'm not really sure. <laughs> I'm not really exactly sure why you would, aside from maybe choosing some different choices, uh, dialogue options and such. Um, but yeah by experiencing it yourself you you have learned something i'm I, I just learn something <laughs> anything about um about mental health and um society i guess and the possible ramifications of ai uh even though I think that we're going to see a lot more of that in the real world than whatever we saw in this game. So I look forward to whatever happens next, I guess. Be it a new god is made or 
uh, society as we know it collapses or something else happens. Well, with that uh, <laughs> extremely optimistic note, uh, I think that'll be it for Eliza. Thank you for watching. Uh, I've had fun, personally. Definitely had fun uh, trying to really decipher what um, the, the creators of this game were, were trying to put onto uh, the canvas of video games and specifically visual novels. And um, yeah, it was cool. And I've already shared all of my um, possibly insightful thoughts about it. And uh, maybe some other day I could write about it more. But that's it for now. So I'll see you guys later. And take care of yourselves. Seriously. And I hope that you can find someone to uh, who can listen to you and you can listen to. And have these types of one-on-one -on -one conversations that Evelyn has learned has uh, an immense effect on our um, on our mental well-being and um, our well-being in general. I, I I can say that much too. Yeah, and uh, maybe even change the world. So go out there and. See, see what you can do. Yeah. See you.